Hello YouTube, this is Tech News by Greg, and today I'm going to be looking at the Targus and 10.1 Design Gaming Pack for iPad and Tablets. Alright, so here we have the Gaming Pack, and I'm just going to go ahead and open this up really quick, and show you what you get in the packaging. Uh, so, you get your stylus, and you get your fling uh, physical joystick for your tablet or iPad and this is what I'm going to be focusing on in this review because you've already seen a review of a Target stylus and they're pretty much all the same. So let's go ahead and take this out. Alright, so first we're going to take a look at the design on it and we are going to give it a rating for this uh, category of design and then I'm going to show you how well it uh, actually works and we'll give it another rating for that. So you can pretty much get an idea of how well this rates in different categories and creating my overall uh, rating for this product. So this is the Fling uh, physical joystick to go on your tablet or iPad. You have your uh, physical joystick right here as well as your two suction cups to attach it to the device that you're using. Uh, it is made of plastic and it is uh, clear plastic so you can kind of see uh, what this would be obstructing just gives you a little better, better idea at um, trying to not cover up the entire screen. Uh, a big flaw with this though is that this is made of cheap plastic so it is very fragile. I was actually uh, pretty nervous when putting this in my backpack along with all my other stuff when I had to go back to uh, my university. But um, yeah, that's definitely a design flaw with that. I'm not sure what they could have made it out of but I feel like they definitely should have made it uh, a little bit more durable. So anyways, uh, in this category of design and quality, I'm probably going to have to give this a 2.5. Um, it fits on there very nicely, but the fact that it is made of cheap plastic definitely brings this rating down. But uh, let's go ahead and see how it works uh, in use, and we can give it another rating for that. Alright, so now we're going to test to see how well it actually works in use. And uh, what you're going to be looking for is a virtual joystick like this one right here. And I'm using my Kindle Fire to demonstrate. So what you're going to want to do is take this and you're going to want to align the uh, physical joystick up with this one right here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Just lay that right on top. Press down on the uh, suction cups. And just make sure that it's uh, secure and in place. So now let's go ahead and I will try and show you how well it actually works go ahead and do that. So you can see my guy has it and I am able to change directions uh, quite easily and maneuver around uh, fairly easily. So overall this probably works very well for what it does. Uh, I haven't had it really slip off at all with the suction cup so it's very strong on there and it's not like it's uh, losing its grip at all. It seems to be doing a very good job at uh, what it's doing. So definitely gets a 5 out of 5 for uh, ease of use and how well it actually works. So now let's take one last look at it and I can give you my final rating. I took a look at how well it is designed and how well it actually works. So if you average out those uh, two categories you get a total rating of 7.5. Divide that by 2 and you have your rating of a 3.75. So that is going to be out of 5 stars. So Overall, it's a pretty good product. It could use a little bit of work, but definitely works great, and I recommend it. So um, that's pretty much it for this review, and thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.